What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today uh, they for some reason decided to reveal a brand new Sugo Fest exclusive. Dr. Vegapunk is finally arriving as his own dedicated legend. It mentions here on the tweet, Dr. Vegapunk, grand dream of dreamy of the of, of the genius scientist. This character will be appearing in the upcoming 10th anniversary countdown Kizuna Clash Sugo Fest. That's dope um, that they're giving us this information so early. Uh, we were waiting for icons and we were just wondering what was going on. So we know now that Vegapunk is going to be the debut legend on the upcoming Kazuna Clash Sugo Fest, titling the 10th anniversary countdown. So the countdown officially begins. Also, news time tomorrow, we're going to get information in regards to um, like the new dev letter that they're going to submit, where it should have, have some information in regards to the upcoming update that's going to be happening at the end of April, and potentially another tease at what's to come in terms of new debut characters. But we're here to talk about Vegapunk. I haven't read a single thing about this unit. Uh, I, I have a feeling he's probably going to be Int and Cerebral. Let's go ahead and have a look and see what this character is actually doing. First of all, artwork looks really, really cool. You've got all the Vegapunks here. Now, the thing is, is they haven't actually revealed Shaka as a character yet. So I assume Shaka it might be just a Kizuna Rare recruit, which is kind of weird. I, I would think Shaka deserves to be a legend. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and dive into it. So this unit is an Int Super Type Cerebral Free Spirit with Super Tandem. That makes perfect sense. Okay. Uh, it does have fear resistance, which is cool. Um, because it has fear resistance, my assumption is this character is going to have some type of ability to switch into the captain spot. That's my guess. Let's go ahead and have a look and see what he does. So, captain ability. Uh, my face cam is covering a little bit, but here you go. Captain ability right here. Reduces cerebral characters cooldown by two turns at the start of the quest. So, lots of speed farming, which is good. Makes their tandem bomb and super bomb slots have matching slot effects. I wouldn't have guessed Vegapunk to revolve around bomb and super bomb. Okay. Boost crew's HP by 1.35. And if you have six cerebral characters on the crew, boost cerebral characters attack by 5.75 when slots match. 5.25 otherwise. Reduces paralysis and bind duration by 10 turns. It doesn't do a whole lot, but it's, it's solid. Like, this is a good captain ability. You got cooldown reduction, matching slots, uh, specifically for, for bomb and super bomb, which is weird. HP boost, and it is annoying. You have to run a full team of cerebral units, honestly. But I guess depending on what the kit does, you probably want to revolve around having these Vegapunk characters available. So, okay, um, captain ability is not awful, but it's not what I expected. But it does seem solid. I mean, removing paralysis and bind by ten turns. It's never a bad thing. If you can partner it up with Lilith as your friend captain, you can remove paralysis, bind, and attack down all by 10 turns as, as just with captains alone. Already very good. Let's have a look at this special ability. Reduces... You know what? Let's actually have a look at the... I actually want to have a look at the, um, the super type. So the super type right here. When any two of the following characters are on the crew... So you've got all of these characters. Shaka the Good. So is listed. So Shaka will be debuting as well. Bonnie, Kuma, Luffy, Zoro, Nami, and any of the Straw Hats, okay? The effect increases your max health by 20%, heals 30% of your max HP that can overheal, further increase attack and orb boost by 0.25. Not a great super type, I'll admit. Not starting off great with this super type, not very good, and it's a super type that requires two of the listed characters. So outside of using Vegapunks, I don't know if this guy's going to be good. He obviously has a super tandem that goes with that. So we'll, we'll get through it uh, as we go along here, okay? He reduces special bind by 10 turns with, a, with his special, which is very, very good. He changes his own slot, including block, into tandem. Prevents its own slot from being changed until you tap perfect. Wish it was not that. I wish it was a good or a great. Allows you to select up to two of the following effects to launch for one turn. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. This is good. All right. Two of these effects you can select. Attack boost to Cerebral 2.75. Um, boost Cerebral character slot effects by 2.75. Boost the color affinity by 2.5. Boost the base attack by 1500. Boost the chain by 1.8. Boost damage dealt to enemies inflicted with delay, defense down, poison, venom, and progress poison by 2.5 times. Launched effects will not trigger enemies interrupting actions. Oh, that's so good. Up to two boosting increasing effects can be applied. 
if six int characters are on the crew and crewmates second class is powerhouse changes second class to cerebral for one turn he's a cerebral free spirit what is going on wait okay let me just go through this again if six int characters are on the crew okay and crewmates second class is powerhouse changes second class to cerebral for one turn unless crewmates first class is already cerebral if this character is a captain friend or whatever if he's a captain's position 20 percent resistance down for cerebral for one turn that is such a weird special okay removing special bind is fantastic but this character allows you to select specific buffs depending on what other crewmates you already have if you don't have your orb booster, you don't have your attack booster, you don't have a color affinity boost, you don't have chain, you don't have base attack, you don't have a conditional boost, this character can provide that for you. So that's dope. That's really interesting. And obviously has great synergy with the other uh, Vegapunk characters that state if you have an attack boost, you can reduce the multiplier and then get a double stacking effect. So this does work with those types of units. Removing the special bind, guaranteeing the super tandem, because this character generates his own tandem slot and then also allows it to be locked, which is cool. You gotta remember though that all these effects will only last for one turn, so they're not amazing buffs that will last for multiple turns, but on your burst turn, this does give you a lot of damage. But the most interesting mechanic, well, obviously the fact that these effects do not trigger enemy interrupts is also good, but if you have a full int team and any of your crewmates' secondary class is a powerhouse class, then it changes it into cerebral for one turn. So I don't I don't know where this is going to see play. Maybe it's gonna have some kind of interesting um, you know, uses with other types of units that are gonna be releasing uh, upcoming, probably for the anniversary. Maybe the new Luffy character that's gonna be releasing is gonna be an int powerhouse free spirit or free spirit powerhouse, and then you can change his secondary powerhouse class into cerebral with this effect i don't know what kind of use case this currently has right now but it's interesting um i was expecting vegapunk to potentially have some type of ability to grant super effective damage considering you have this full int cerebral vegapunk team i would have thought that they would have trying to build this team to be used against basically any content kind of like what they've done in the past with a couple of other different things but I guess this is this is basically like a full int cerebral team that's very good to be used against psi focused bosses. We'll see how good this is going to be. Um, but this is a very interesting special that has never really been applied. Like the fact that you have you can select all these different buffs. They don't trigger interrupts. You can change classes as well, which obviously we have seen uh, recently in the game. So let's move on to the crewmate abilities. Resist special bind by twenty turns. Cerebral characters, tandem, bomb, and super bomb slots are all going to be treated as beneficial. Okay, that's a pretty good crewmate ability. The supported uh, effect affects, uh, affects uh, int cerebral units. And it says once per quest, if you use a special to further increase boosts, reduces bind and paralysis by two turns. Interesting. Okay, so it needs to be an int cerebral unit that has some type of ability to buff your other boosts. There are plenty of those for sure, but that's a very unique buff because if you're inflicted with Bind and Paralysis, you have to then find a unit that does that. Like finding use for this could be very, very difficult, but there, there's going to be use cases where this support is amazing. Um, we've already gone through the super type. I don't think it's amazing. Like it's basically just healing and then buffing attack and all boosts. It's kind of whatever because like, I don't know, it just doesn't seem that great. The super tandem, you need to have two of these characters on the crew. And that's at level 5. And it gives a tandem attack boost 2x to Cerebral. Boost base attack by 1000 for the user of the Final Tap Sugo special. I like this does make sense because you, all, you obviously have Lilith and Atlas. And I don't know if Shaka it, that's coming out. I don't know if he's going to be um, a, a legend. I'm assuming he's probably not. But we'll wait and see. But uh, it's interesting. Okay, so he buffs the Final Tap of the next unit by 1000. It's not a great super tandem, honestly. It's just attack, attack boost, a 2x attack boost that requires two units on the list. So I don't really think it's that great. And then 1000 base attack. Honestly, for Vegapunk, I really was expecting a bit more, to be quite honest. I feel like 
the, like the uniqueness in the special is obviously good i feel like the super type is a little underwhelming i think the super tandem is a little underwhelming captain ability special ability crewmate ability and support effect i think are all pretty good though so no real um you know qualms for me very very interesting design for this unit i'll admit let's move on to his rumble kit have a look at that sprite though that sprite looks fantastic so he's a debuffer style unit and he's obviously in cerebral so hopefully he's good to work with atlas because atlas on paper is very good in rumble so this character special at a 28 ct will target one enemy with high ct for a 50 percent delay okay and then targets two high attack enemies for attack down level 10 and targets two high defense enemies for defense down level 10 and then targets three enemies with high hp for a 40 percent reduction you know what i think this is actually a really good special the reason why I say that is because the CT is very respectable and you're going to be able to launch this two, three times a game and being able to inflict this amount of debuffs, not only just the special delay is obviously very good, but attack down, defense down, and then three characters inflicted with a 40% health cut. It seems pretty good to me. I think this is, this is not terrible. This is going to be a very annoying character to go up against. And the fact that you could use this effect to get the health cuts and then you can have Atlas to do a crap load of damage to the opponent, I think it has potential. Uh, the Rumble ability, Cerebral characters get HP up and defense up, level 6, and then Int characters special CT at level 2. That's great, honestly. No real issues there. This character is going to be very interesting to use in Pirate Rumble. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have any grand party kit, but hey, look, there we go. That is, uh, that is Vegapunk for you. Love the sprite, though. He looks really cool. So, let me know your thoughts and opinions about Vegapunk. Definitely not what I was expecting heading into this. Um, but interesting. Uh, and he definitely has synergy with, uh, with the rest of the Vegapunks, which is what we're expecting and what we're hoping. Uh, do we have uh, any more information about Shaka? No. So, it doesn't look like there's going to be any Shaka information. So, he won't be a legend. It looks like Shaka will just be... A Kizuna rare recruit character so we'll wait and see exactly what he's going to do once we get data da data downloads and data mines but uh, because this was officially revealed we'll probably get the official banner information in game tomorrow if not the day after that so look forward to it hopefully you enjoyed this video though if you did make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post including more One Piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and that guys I'll see you guys within the next video